Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, this one is filmed in the new year. It is currently 1.20 a.m. and I'm filming a video now because I was going to do it later, or earlier I guess, and then I didn't. So here it is now. And I thought what a way to celebrate the decade by choosing my top 10 favorite competitive Smash Bros. players. And I'm just, I'm just saying which ones are my favorite and which ones you should watch. So uh, this is all of my opinion and just because a player isn't on here doesn't mean I hate them. It just means I would rather, if I'm watching these people, want one to win than if they're not on the list. <laughs> um, it's kind of ordered, but not really. Then also, like I said, just my opinion doesn't really matter. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first person on this list is going to be Leon. Like, not the, like, the Pokemon champion of the Gala region, but the Bowser player. Uh, I think he's super sick. He's the only one really doing it with Bowser. Uh, he's been playing some Bowser Jr. lately, and I love watching Bowser Jr. I don't know why, just something about him. He just, I, I really like watching him. And uh, Leon, he just, he's such good options. He'll just randomly, he'll just kill you at 40, because his character just allows him. He just, he always throws out those options. He's like 150, and then he's not, he's, he, he wins. GG's, man. And I don't know, he just, yeah, he always seems so composed. I like that as well. I mean, most of them do because they're all top players, but I don't know. I like Leon a lot. Maybe it's because I really like his character, but I, I like him. Alright, so the first person on this list is going to be Leon. Like, not the like the Pokemon champion of the Gala region, but the Bowser player. Uh, I think he's super sick. He's the only one really doing it with Bowser. Uh, he's been playing some Bowser Jr. lately, and I love watching Bowser Jr. I don't know why, just something about him. He just... I, I really like watching him. And uh, Leon, he just... He's such good options. He'll just randomly, he'll just kill you at 40. Because his character just allows him. He just, he always throws out those options. He's like 150 and then he's not, he's, he, he wins. GG's, man. And I don't know. He just, yeah, he always seems so composed. I like that as well. I mean, most of them do because they're all top players. But I don't know. I like Leon a lot. Maybe it's because I really like his character. But I, I like him. Number nine is going to be T. Pac-Man, not the Link. Um, I like T. He's... Only one, once again, doing it with Pac-Man. Like, I guess Sinji, but he's not really doing much anymore. No shots. <laughs> I don't know. I, he, I, do, I know Sinji watches my videos all the time, so nothing personnel. But anyway, uh, T, he's super sick. Like, he'll just randomly, he'll do something every set that I've never seen before. And, like, I'm someone who's played, like, a pretty decent amount of Pac-Man in my days. You know, soft flex, but... Like, he just, he's crazy, he just does it out of nowhere, and he's so wholesome, it's so, he's just such a wholesome guy, or just from what you see at least, and I, I just really like his play, and yeah, he's just, he makes Pac-Man not lame, which is hard. Number eight is going to be Dark Wizzy, uh, I like him just because, okay, uh, he's not actually this time, he's not the only one doing it, because there's some other Marios, but he's he's clearly the best. Like, he, he has the full Mario cosplay, essentially, every time, and I, you know what, that's respectable. He, he's he's kind of connected to his character. But, uh, yeah, I really like him. He just, like, he'll sometimes just do the craziest options. Like, he'll grab you at zero, and you'll actually die. Like, with Leon, I said you die in, like, a couple hits, but you actually die with him. Like, I don't know. Uh, the set against he had at Nairo at Glitch, just like he was at like what 120 or whatever, and then yep, grabbed him zero and just fared him. And that was that was it, and he does that a lot. And it's he's super, he's so hyped to watch this. Is none of his sets are boring. It does kind of suck though when he's winning a lot and then he gets reverse 3 0'd because he does that sometimes and it makes me sad. But when he doesn't do that, he's really he's really cool. Uh, number seven is going to be Light. I like Light because he just, every hit he gets, he converts off it. Like, and he's throwing out so many hitboxes, and he's always moving. He's never, he's always just keeping on your toes, and he's just, he's always moving around, and I just don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to randomly up smash? I don't know. He might. He just, that just could be something he does. I don't know. Is he just going to, like, down tilt you or just dash attack you, and then, oh, here comes a combo. He, he might do that. I don't know, man. And then also... Another reason I really like him is his techs. He, he techs everything, I don't know how he does it, and he is tech, tech god. Number six on the list is going to be Elegant, the Luwugi player. He's, like I said, once again, about almost everyone on this list, except Wizzy, the only one doing it with his character. And he's just, he's really good. 
Like he he's he recovers. I like I don't know. I can't remember just seeing Elegant get gimped with Luigi. Like he just doesn't get gimped. He's just so good at recovering. It just amazes me. Like wow, he he should be dead, and then he's not dead. And he's just just he has been like not doing as well recently, which kind of sucks. But do you know what? I he's really fun to watch. And then he'll just grab you, and it was he. He gets those grabs, and it's always like when you're playing Luigi, just like lol, just avoid grab, but it's like elegant, just doesn't care. He just yoink, and then that's an L you kind of have to hold, and usually, like, he kills you just at zero. But because the other two times I said it, I didn't mean it, but this time I actually mean it. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like there's new ways he's doing the zero to death as well, which I just didn't even know about, and I just saw it, and it's just like, wow, that's he's just he's optimizing it, and just. Elegant's awesome to watch. Uh, number five is going to be MVD. Uh, I, he, dude, the start of Smash Ultimate, it kind of sucked because I didn't watch competitive as much, and that's when he was really, really doing good. And he's still doing good now, but he's not doing as good, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, I'm sure he'll get back because he is godlike. Like, his snake is, is amazing. I also want to hear, I love watching Snake, but I'm only put one of each character. Like person on the list, I also like watching Shogun. Like Shogun vs Samsora, just watch that set. That's just a, that's just a good set. But it's not about Shogun. It's about MVD. I his Nikita is his crazy. His grenade placements. His C four. Like it's it just you never expect anything he does, and he's just really good. He's really good at playing Snake, and he's I like him. He's the winner. And then we're going to continue this streak with another player that's not doing as well recently with Void. Void, I, his, like, his Pichu is mwah, perfect. He's touch of death. Love, love the Pichu. But then when the sheet comes out, it's just, he, I just, he takes you from, a, like, one part of the stage to the other part of the stage. And it does 50. And it's like, that sucks. But then he does it again. And he's able to consistently kill with Sheik. And it's just... He's pulling out kill confirms just out of nowhere. It's like, oh, I landed the like the backwards hit of Nair. Let me go run up F tilt, full hop, up air, drag down, down smash. It's like, oh, well, I just would have like dash attacked. And that's just, boy, he's so fun to watch. He just does so much. It's like kind of like light. Just he touched you once and everything. It's like, well, here's a cutscene because he, yeah. T to end the trend of people that haven't been doing well, we're going to go with Mars, who's been doing very well, and I love watching him. He just, he's so, he has so many unga bunga options, he'll just randomly throw them out. Like a Dreamhack Atlanta, I think it was, like the Grand Final Sam Sora. He just, he just was throwing out flip kicks, he's just throwing out uppies, and they were just hitting. Well, they weren't hitting, but even if they weren't hitting, he just, he never gets scared. So, like, he's at 150, and he's playing like he's at 20, and the other person's at 150. Like, he, he's never out of it. He's just, his clutch is so good. The Nair flip kick, you, you'll never see it coming. And just remember, when you're watching him, all I gotta think is, wow, I can't believe Mars is this good with a bottom tier, because Zero Suit sucks. Number two spot is going to be belonging to Nairo, uh, the Politana god. He's just... I don't know, man. It's like, it's kind of like Mars. He's just, he's never scared. He's just like, and when he's on fire, he's on fire. Like, holy, like, he'll just, sometimes he'll, he'll usually just be playing. He's just amazing. And then one game, he'll just destroy someone. Like, uh, for, I feel so bad for like, just calling out Samsora all the time, but versus Samsora at Glitch and Big House, just game five, just something happened, man. And he just went, he just, just went crazy he just went super saiyan it's just he's so fun to watch because you never know what he's gonna do it and you never know what he's gonna do and you never know like he could be down so much and then it's just like well i'm just gonna dash attack a bunch and then he does and then he wins and he's just so fun to watch i don't know nairo 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 naifu nation let's go the number one player to probably no one's surprised if they watch my content sometimes is isam the bald legend, the bald myth. He's just the Pikachu god because Pikachu's busted and so is he. He's so fun to watch. Like, anything he'll do back air and then he'll just convert off it and he'll just get the craziest conversions. And like, 
he's so he's consistent. He never like he loses to Sam Storm Meister, and that's kind of an L. But everyone else, he's just like I can. I think he doesn't really lose to anyone else. I'm just thinking now, like he has an even record with Leo this season. He's even with Tweak. Even or he's beating Nairo. Like he's just he's really good, and I he's by far my favorite player to watch. I'm always rooting for him. Always, always hoping he always gets ninth at the S tiers, and it makes me kind of sad. But you know what? Season two is over with the new year, and season three is going to come around. Esam, easy top five. He's going to, so fun to watch. Esam, by far my favorite. Just mwah, Pikachu's busted. So, yeah, that's my top 10. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like these kind of videos. I'm probably going to do more top 10s. Maybe, probably about Smash Bros. still, but, uh, Maybe on other things if you guys want it. Make sure to tell me what top players you like, which ones you don't like on this list. Don't tell me that. Don't be toxic, you meanies. Uh, anyway, Merry New Year's. Hope 2020 is a good one. And uh, see you guys next time.